the the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came into the district of Judea and across the Jordan. Again crowds gathered around him, and as was his custom, he again taught them. The Pharisees approached him and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, in the, house the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Brothers and sisters, this is one part of the gospel, particularly today, that many, particularly married women, no? married person, is trying to avoid. Why? Because here, Jesus talks about what true marriage is and what is the will of God from the beginning when two become one. Sabi nga, di ba, sa kanta? When to become one. Diba? To become one. But Jesus, no, again, reiterates no, the danger and the evil of divorce. Yeah. Alam niyo po, no, divorce is one of the plague of the modern society and modern government today. Kaya nga sabi ng tita ko, patawarin kayo ng Diyos, no? yung mga nagpapa gusto magpatupad ng batas ng divorce sa ating bansa. No? And why? Because divorce is a reflection of a person, a man and a woman no? who already no? divorces themselves from God. Alam niyo po, no, bago, bago pa si Mr. o si Mrs. ay mag-isip ng divorce at magsabi, Sana dalawa ang puso ko. Diba? At meron pang isa pang kanta. No? Sabi pa dun ng isang Mr. o ng Mrs., Bakit ngayon ka lang? Bakit ngayon kung kailan ang uking puso'y mayroon ng laman? <laughs> no? 
Napakaganda mga kanta. But, but, pero, subalit, datapwat, bagamat, they are not God's will. And you know, this divorce between man and women who are married are effect of the divorce already created by man himself, herself, man and woman themselves. Ano po? Sabi nga nung aming professor sa moral theology, no? When there is divorce, because there were already a divorce between what? Between many things. First of all, divorce between faith and reason. And who did this divorce? Kung sino yung naggawa ng pag-separate ng faith and reason? Yung mga kapatid nating so-called Bible Christian, Protestant. Separating, no? As Saint Paul Paul VI said, between procreation and responsibility, and sacraments, separation between justice and mercy, separation between faith and works, separation or divorce between. The magisterium and what between the law of God, separation between the church and Christ. Marami na kasi sabi, no? Basta ako na niniwala ako kay Kristo, pero ayaw ko sa simbahan. See, many, many divorce. So before a person, a man or a woman, no, choose to divorce themselves, they already divorce from whom? Either the man or the woman or both are divorced from God, from right reason, no, because. O yung lalaki, o yung babae, ang iniisip lang niya ay yung kanyang sadiri, yung kanyang sarili. But I will ask you, and even statistics says, no, that if a man and woman marry, do not think only of themselves, but think of their children and of God. It will not happen. Ngunyan, today, See what is happening to our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, in Russia. Why did this kind of walk of this this kind of tragic, as we have said, happen? Because man divorce himself or herself to God. See. So there are many divorce happening in the world today. Not only the divorce between man and women, and open and close parentheses, the church never, never permit divorce. No. And the document or the encyclical Humanae Vitae is clear about it. No. Because divorce destroy either both parties or either the man or the woman. Wala pong divorce sa simbahan. What the church do is called annulment. Insan, marami pa rin mga katoliko at kristyano. Hindi pa rin, tawag dito, may mga kilala pa rin ako, narinig pa rin ako kahit sa radyo. No? May naririnig pa rin ako na sinasabi, divorce sa simbahan. There's no such thing as divorce in the church. What the church do is called annulment. No? It is not divorce. No? And the church no, does not admit no, 
that two persons, sabi nga ni Lord, no? from the beginning, no? man, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Sarong katawan lang. Sarong hawak. No? So see, my brothers and sisters, the problem of our society, the problem of our nations, the problem of the world today is that there are many divorce. Maraming divorce. O sabi na nating maraming divorciado. Maraming divorciado. No? Hindi lang sa marriage, pati na rin sa faith, pati na rin sa morals, pati na rin sa spirituality. And what if one person, a man or a woman, no, had this divorce in his spirituality, in his life, in her life? Sabi nga, all the time, you know, it's a little bit dangerous. No? That's dangerous. Delicado po. No? Just like no, when they divorce between sacred scripture and tradition. No? When they divorce love from uh, justice. No? Pag pinaghiwalay po natin yan, no? yung mga bagay na dapat magkasama, that will be the beginning. Sabi nga, and now the end is near. <laughs> <laughs> diba? The end is near. No? When there are many divorces that happens to our life. And my brothers and sisters, in our, gospel, in our Mass today, no? of course, first of all, let us pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. And secondly, let us pray. Today is Edsa Revolution. Diba? We celebrate today the Edsa Revolution. So let us pray that hindi na maghap mangyari itong Edsa Revolution. No? That we remain contact with our Lord and our God. And let us examine ourselves, even, even me. No? Let us make a self-examination. Is there any divorce in my life? No? As a religious, as a priest, as a tertiary, as a, a man and a woman, is there a divorce in my life? No? Because I repeat, divorce is not only regarding marriage. It can be also those things that the church and the will of God must be always together, but we tear it apart. No? Pinaghihiwalay natin. No? And let, not, let us ask, the sacred heart of Jesus, let us ask our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Peña Francia, Divino Rostro, to help us take away this divorce in our life, take away this divorce in our Christian faith. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Ave Maria, if you like this video, subscribe and share. Ave Maria.